what is up my dudes it's your pal septic star i'm back with a brand new video and today <laughs> wow <laughs> and today i am going to be opening up another fan mail thingy well this comes from jason owens owen from <laughs> sewer sludge records and this is i believe an online store you can check out his store on discogs i will leave a link in the description and he was really generous and he let me um, select two CDs from his store, whichever ones I wanted, and he'd ship them to me, and he was really kind enough to throw in extras, so, I mean, when I got this from the post office, I'm like, wow, this is a pretty big package for only two CDs, and then I remembered, he, he said he threw in a bunch of extras, so I'm really excited to see what else he threw in here, so let's open this up and let's find out. One of my teachers invited me to a Judas Priest concert. He's not even my teacher, he was a sub. I hope I can find somebody to go with. I kind of want to keep the sticker that's on here, this one. I like how careful this guy is, I like... Wow, look what we have here, dude. Whoa, this is a bunch of cool stuff. Got some packing peanuts. You guys can enjoy those. This is really, really cool. Wow. Dude. Hold on, let me just get all these out here. These are for you guys. Those are my blessings from your pal, Septic Siren. You can enjoy these. Fucking Slayer. Okay, ooh, a bunch of cassettes. Wow, this is cool. Alright, so we've got a bunch of cassettes here. I was actually meaning to get a cassette player. Um... I should get a cassette player now. They actually go pretty cheap on eBay, I think, so I've been wanting to get one for a really long time, so thank you. I have some cool cassettes. I will unbox those in a minute, and we've got some really cool stickers, holy shit. Dude, oh my god, and we've got a bunch of Sewer Sludge Records stickers, so much for um, saying I wanted this one. He threw in a bunch of stickers. Okay, so we've got like a bunch of Sewer Sludge Records stickers. We've got a Morbid Angel, Gateways to Annihilation. And we've got Resurrector, I think. I've not heard of this band. And I'm just gonna show you what it looks like. That's what it looks like, pretty cool. And we've got another band that I, bless. I think, I don't know, I feel like such a poser. And another Sewer Sludge Records sticker. I finally have stickers! You have no idea how long I've been, I've waited, how long I've wanted stickers. Thank you so much. What is this thing? These things look like a bunch of tarot cards. Oh, we've got more cassettes. Dude! I'm actually really excited. I've, like, wanted, I've, like, actually wanted some cassettes for a really long time so that I can be like really retro oh my god I will unbox I will unwrap these in a minute to show you guys we have also got some more stuff all right I mean we still got more packing peanuts always nice and here we've got our CDs and okay yeah we've got the CDs and we have some t-shirts so the ooh oh my god oh my god t-shirts yes 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 dude i'm excited i think we have two t-shirts here yeah all right and pack and packaged peanuts I'm just gonna put those back they're all they're like all over my laptop all right so first since these are on my lap i'm going to show you guys the t-shirts these look rather quite large so okay we've got this which i do not know this band i can't really read it well that's what it looks like and then on the back i have so much research to do <laughs> and we've got this cool thing on the back this looks pretty cool and then we've got this shirt oh this is like this really cool dark throne shirt dude oh my god look at this Oh my god, it's a long sleeve. It's a fucking long sleeve. Dude, I've wanted a long sleeve forever. And this is Panzerfaust. This is a Dark Throne 
shirt and there's some little packaged peanut matter all over there and on the back has this it's got a sexy picture of Fenris and it's got some little things on here this is actually one of my favorite Dark Throne albums, so thank you so much. Thank you. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I finally have a long sleeve shirt. Oh my god, wait. It has stuff on the sleeves too. Oh my god. Dude. It seems to have some little candle flame there. And I don't think it has anything on this sleeve. Oh. It also has more candle flames. Oh my god, yes! I'm so happy. Oh my god. All right. And now let's open up the CDs. This is literally like the best. Wow. Dude, thank you so much. Like, holy shit. I feel so professional, honestly. I feel like a professional, even though I'm far from being a professional because everybody thinks I'm a poser. You know, like, it's so funny, like, especially on small, like, metal YouTube channels, like, we just get so much shit from, like, stupid elitist fucks. And it's like, I don't have time for immaturity, so I just don't care. Hate on me all you want. Like, I like to surround myself with mature people who will help me get to where I need to succeed in life, and I have no time for immature shit. I'm going to put all of this on Instagram. So if you guys want to see further more details, you can follow my Instagram at Sethixara. And we have that. We have one, two, three, four. We have six CDs here. And the first one we have Clandestine Blaze, I think. Um, Church of Atrocity. Then we have, I think this band's called like Breathe Sorrows or something. I'm just like trying to read that. And this album is called Through Darkness to Battle I Ride. That's what it looks like. I really need a better camera. And we've got this thing and it doesn't say anything on the back, but okay, this is like a little mystery thing because it doesn't say anything on here. <clears throat> I did like 40 pacers today and I almost swear to god not lying almost passed out then we have Venturite uh, I don't know this album is called Winter Shot Shot Shotten you know what <laughs> I can't pronounce things for shit I just you know what whatever and then these are the two that i selected we have zesters to violate the oblivious album and then i have dark thrones a blaze in the northern sky and the reason why i picked these is because one zaster is like one of my favorite black metal bands and so is dark throne and it's just i'm it'd be really awesome to have some first wave black metal gems such as blaze in the northern sky in my inventory and as well as zaster come on i actually really really this is one of my favorite um zaster albums besides telepath not telepath um my two favorite zaster albums are suicide and dark serenity and to violate the oblivious <laughs> messed that up to violate the oblivious. I consider these to be gems and I'm very happy to have them in my collection now. Thank you. And thank you for the six CDs. And now we've got some cassettes. Like I'm, I'm actually really excited to have cassettes. I'm gonna be like really, really old school now. Like when I first opened the box, I thought that they were like tarot decks. I'm like, ooh. I don't think I've ever told you guys, but, like, I, like, work with, like, witchcraft and stuff because, like, I'm, like, a hybrid of, like, Wiccan, Pagan, Satanist sort of thing, and, like, I do, like, a lot of occult stuff. I just don't like to talk about that, and 
part of that is I work with like a lot of divining and stuff so I have like decks of tarot cards and like pendulums Ouija boards I've worked with all that stuff so like <laughs> I thought that it was like a deck of tarot cards I'm like oh yes and now they're cassettes I'm so really glad I mean like yeah Liz a record shop would definitely have tarot cards. Way to go. You're so smart. All right, so the first set of cassettes I have, we've got this band and the album is Two Chasms of Lunacy. This looks like some atmospheric black metal. Oh my God, I'm really excited. It's a, it's a cassette, look at how cute it is. I've literally never held a cassette ever. So, this is very interesting. I've, I can't believe I've never hold, held like a cassette tape. Oh, would you look at that? Look at how cute this is. That's what it looks like. You can't say because of my fucking light. I'm sorry. <laughs> so that's really exciting. We've got this band. I, I think that this is actually Dungeon Synth. I actually don't know, but I swear I was like browsing dungeon synth and I come across something that looked like this I doubt this is dungeon synth but like eh, I don't know this is um, abominations impure very interesting very cult I like it and this band not read that it's another bathroom yeah, the band's called Bathroom. These are two Bathroom CDs, as you can see right there. And this album is The Everlasting Curse. God, these look so retro. And we have Aquare, I think. And this album is Athantos, I think. That's what it looks like. We have another Bathroom CD, and this is Woods of Baphomet. And it is a demo, third demo. I think that these might be demos, actually. I haven't looked. Might be, might not. I have never heard of this band, but I will definitely listen to these. And now for package number two. It looks like we have some things that I can actually read. <gasps> Oh, I'm excited for this. I'm excited for this. I'm excited for this. I have I have Nocturnus's The Key here, and I really, really like this. I really, 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 really fucking love this album. Like, it's such a classic. It's such a gem. And this is really old. This is, like, very old. And we have Napalm Death's Death by Manipulation here. And this is what I thought was a tarot deck because I've actually never listened to this Napalm Death album. I think I've only listened to like three. I think I've only listened to like three Napalm Death albums. But I don't think I've actually heard this album. I think... No, I've actually never listened to this. But I'm really excited to check it out. I really, really like Napalm Death's work. So thank you. We have Grand Belial's key witness to the regicide here. We have, I really wish I was like one of those metal YouTubers like Count Blagareth or like Killbot or something, I don't know, who just like knows their shit. I really wish I could read band logos. Taug et fo hetel. I think this might be backwards. Okay, this says the oath of the goat. I'm stupid and read it backwards. <clears throat> and our last thing we have is the Dead Youth's writing album. Writing? Rithing. 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 Sorry. Rithing. I'm really excited. I will get a cassette deck or like a Walkman or something and I will play all of these. I will go up to a hike in the woods. There are like so many woods and like state parks by me because like I live up in Northern Illinois. 
So there are a lot of hills and stuff. Lots of mountains. Very cult, not a lot of mountains. In Wisconsin, holy shit, there are so many mountains. It's beautiful. Up in northern Wisconsin, I, I hate the North Pole. It's gonna be a very cult hike up in the, the wilderness. And I'm going to take all of these with me. And it's gonna be very cult. So thank you so much. Sewer Sludge Records, please check this guy out. He has a really fantastic inventory of black metal and death metal and all kinds of metal. You guys should really check it out. He has a fairly large inventory and it was just so generous to do this. Like, I feel very professional. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Check out Sewer Sludge Records and this is your pal Septic Star and stay metal.